the, the Barstool Podcast. You've been putting the work in for like some years. Mm-hmm. Like appreciate years, it, years, 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 mm-hmm. years. You know what I'm saying? What do you think it is inside of you mm-hmm. that's like, because a lot of people, whether it's DJs or podcasters or mm-hmm. actors or comedians mm-hmm. or whatever you want to say in the entertainment industry, mm-hmm. there's a lot of people that if it don't pop mm-hmm. right away or within the first year mm-hmm. or two, they're like, well, this didn't work. Yeah. So yeah, what yeah. what do you think it is about you that make you stick through it even though you may or may not, like, because I've had, you know, I've been doing this podcast for like two years mm-hmm. and I've had a lot of moments where I'm mm-hmm. like, this right here is going to change everything and then it, does change some things but, but it don't not, do it like the not way the impact you thought yeah yeah, yeah right yeah. so but then i just got keep moving right mm-hmm, so what is mm-hmm. it that with that with you what is it that keeps you just uh you know it's just a, it's a drive man and it's like it's like breathing to me right so yeah. i always like find creative ways to keep marketing to my stuff or putting a new twist on it trying to stay relevant but it's like a it's like a creative challenge yeah you know what i mean so i'm like no, I just gotta. I gotta evolve. I gotta go from from uh, from the physical tapes mm-hmm. to the CDs to a mm-hmm. now I drop shit on uh, iTunes and Spotify. So you yeah. gotta evolve with shit, and I just, it just keeps me going, man. It's yeah. just a child. It's like a, it's a drive, man. Like uh, it's like breathing. Like yeah. I say, I just it's in like innate with me, man. And yeah. I don't know. I see cats too. They give up too soon. Yeah, you know what I That's mean. That's what I'm saying. And they haven't. They haven't like made enough mistakes to figure it out. Yeah. You make enough mistakes and keep experimenting and say, well, I'm gonna try it this way this time. Something gonna pop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I use it like what Henry Winkler said, uh, the Fonz. He said, if you stay at the table long enough, the chips come to you. Mm-hmm. Some cats get up from the table too soon, mm-hmm. play a few hands, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But he said, if you stay there long enough, the chips will come to you. Mm-hmm. You didn't check all your boxes, man. So well, what is it about? Because you have those, even like like I said, I, I've had those moments where I feel like, okay, this is that moment. Mm-hmm. But it's not, it is a moment, it's a moment, but mm-hmm. it's not the moment I thought it was going to be. It's not that moment. Right, yeah. but it's still a moment to where it's like, wow, but still mm-hmm. that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like that, yeah, those, yeah. those moments that kind of give you. It's like those moments that keep you on the trail because they're like, mm-hmm. yeah, you you going the right way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But you still moments, got yeah. you still got a way. You still got a way. You're like the, the you know the farther we come, the farther you look back and say, I still got a ways to go. Yeah. Even though we might have came a long way, you're like, damn, I still got a ways to go. And I know what you mean because it'll be yeah, a cause it, like if you're doing a, if you're doing a party and like mm-hmm. Kid Capri mm-hmm. is there and he's like, mm-hmm. yo, man, oh, what. You know, I'm gonna just say this in the middle of his say. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just say, shout out to D. Foss, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people will take it how they take it. They'll yeah. hear it. Yeah, it might go in one ear and out the other. But mm-hmm. to you, you are gonna be like, man, I just got shouted out by. That was, the, that was the moment. So that was I'm, the moment. Yeah, yeah. That that moment might not have changed my life, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. that happened. That happened. That happened. You know what I'm saying? That happened. And I look at it like a, a step on the ladder or a brick in the wall. Mm. Whatever little movement happens like that, I'm like, okay, a win is a win to me. If it's a small right. W, yeah, a little W. If I figure out one thing that gives me a different advantage or something, I'm good. Yeah. Because I know I'm like, I'm still moving up with it, man. Yeah. So, but like you say, it, it depends on, to me, like you say, that's a moment. Yeah. That happened. Yeah. That's like a, a milestone somewhere in your career. Yeah. A checkpoint, like, boom, yeah. that happens. So. But do you feel like the people that, um, give up too quickly maybe they were in it for the wrong reasons to begin with i i I absolutely think that's one of them because of course you want to get paid uh rewarded for it but right but if you're hard in it you you don't know why you you quitting but you don't know why you want to keep going neither yeah so if you in it for i had cash like that that was that was in the game doing stuff but they like you chasing the money too much. So yeah. when you figure out when here's what happens when they figure out, oh, it takes more work than I thought. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you're not ready to pay the price to get to the next level. But I think they just they just give up too soon. I mean, like way too soon. The, the Barstool Podcast.